Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest PWRP recovery onto your Redmi Note 10 Pro based on Android 13. So please take a backup of all the data and then let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to install Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. As you could see, these are the files of the platform tools. So moving on, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now carry out both this task. For that, you have to go to settings menu on your phone. From there, you have to go to about device. And then you have to go to detailed info and specs. Now tap on MIUI version 7 times and you will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, again go back, then go to additional settings and from here you have to go to developer option and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. So check mark I am aware of all the risk and then you have to wait for 10 seconds and after that tap on OK. So with this, you have enabled USB debugging. You might get an RSA key prompt. So make sure to tap on allow. So with that said, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform tools folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tools as you could see. So now type in ADB devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB 2X and make sure that you are getting an ID. Once you are getting this ID, let's now move ahead. So now you will have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to my guide or the video and make sure to get the job done. You have to use the me unlock tool to carry out this task and this is my video on the same. So please get this job done. Moving on, you could now download the latest recovery from here. So let me take you to the page. So go to the page, it's by XCA developer Nebresi. So download it from here, go to the file section and this is the latest which is working with Android 13. It has just been uploaded. So download it from here and once you have got the recovery file, you just have to place it in the platform to folder on your PC. So let me now carry out that task as well. So just a minute. So this is the recovery file for our phone. Let's paste it in the platform to folder. And with this, we have got the recovery file. So moving on, you will now have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. So let's now carry out that task. So open CMD window and type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and with this your phone will now boot into fast boot mode and the entire process will take around 5 to 6 seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and as you could see our phone is now in the fast boot mode so let's now move ahead and verify the fast boot connection so type in fast boot devices and hit enter and you should now see a, get a serial id if you are not getting any serial id then you will have to install fast boot drivers on your pc the link for the same is given in my guide itself, so let me show you. So refer to this guide and install the fastboot drivers on your PC. Once that is done, use the Windows X shortcut keys and now choose device manager. From here, expand the Android phone section and make sure that your phone has been shown as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signifies that your PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode and you could now move ahead. So moving on, our next course of action is to boot our phone to the recovery mode to the TWRP recovery do note that even though our phone has the recovery partition and we could directly flash the recovery to that partition but we will not do so we will first temporarily boot our phone to the recovery and verify if everything is working or not once our phone boots with the TWRP recovery we could then make the recovery permanently installed so for the sake of convenience or rather to be on a safer side I, it's always recommended that you first temporarily boot your phone to the recovery and if everything is working fine then you can install the recovery permanently 
so for the temporary boot you have to just use the fast boot boot command but before that for the ease of convenience let me rename the file to something shorter so let's just rename it to twrp and the complete name becomes twrp.img so with that said let's now boot our phone to twrp recovery so type in fast boot boot and the name of the file which is twrp.img and let's check out the result so if our phone boots with the twrp then this signifies that the recovery is working well and good and we could then move ahead and permanently flash it so it will take around four to five seconds for a phone to boot to the twrp and as you could see our phone has booted through this recovery so this signifies that the recovery is working well and good but as of now it's just temporarily installed for one time usage upon the next reboot the twrp recovery will be replaced by stock recovery so now we'll have to make this recovery permanent for making this permanent you have two options you could either do so by installing the img file in the recovery partition right from the recovery itself or you could use the fastboot flash command i'll show you both these methods let's first use the recovery itself so using the recovery method what you have to do is first off copy the recovery img file and send it to your phone so this is your phone send your uh, recovery to your phone and with this our recovery file has been transferred to our phone it will just take a few more seconds so once that is done you have to go to install select the recovery img file so for that you have to tap on install image and with this the recovery file will now be visible so select it and now choose the recovery partition then perform a right swipe to flash it and twrp will now be flashed in the recovery partition as you could see it's now done so once that is done it's highly recommended that you reboot your phone to the recovery mode so go to the home screen then go to reboot and select recovery so our phone should now reboot to twrp if that happens then it signifies that the recovery has been flashed successfully so as you could see our phones are now booted to recovery and with this the recovery has been flashed on our phone now let me show you the next method in the next method we could use the fastboot flash command so as of now let's assume you are currently using the fastboot boot command and you are into twrp for one time usage so let's now make the recovery permanent using the next method so in the next method you will first off have to boot your phone to the fastboot mode so go to reboot and select bootloader do note that the fastboot in the twrp stands for fastboot d from the twrp recovery you will always have to choose bootloader and you will be taken to the fastboot mode now from the fastboot mode you could directly use the fastboot flash recovery command and with this the recovery will be flashed onto your phone just make sure that the name of the file is recovery.img and it's placed inside the platform to folder once that is done simply use this command and hit enter and with this the recovery will be permanently flashed onto the recovery partition onto your phone it will take only a few seconds so with this recovery has been flashed so let's now verify the same so for that you have to use fast boot reboot recovery and hit enter and your phone should now reboot into twrp recovery if that happens then it signifies that the recovery has been flashed successfully so as you could see we have flashed the recovery onto our phone and it should now boot into the recovery screen as, as well so guys these were the two methods through which you could reboot your phone to the recovery or rather flash the recovery onto your phone once you are done flashing simply go to reboot, reboot and select system and now your phone will boot to the os so guys these were the two different methods through which you could install the twrp recovery onto the redmi note 10 pro phone in the first method you could simply install the recovery img file to the recovery partition using the twrp itself in the second method once you have booted to recovery you have to reboot your phone to the fastboot mode and from the fastboot mode you just have to use this command and it will flash the recovery to the recovery partition but always keep in mind that first off you have to use the boot command to verify that the recovery is working well and good or not if there is an issue with the recovery then in this command you just have to do a restart and the twrp will be replaced by the stock recovery and the issue will be fixed that is why it's always recommended to use the boot command and never the flash command once you are, have used the boot command and your phone is now in the twrp recovery you could then use either the step a or the step b 
and permanently flash the recovery onto your phone. So on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.